Got my sketchbook, I've got my doodle diary. Should we go create some art? Oh, and by the way, we're flying to a Greek island. It's the next day. Should we go head to the beach? And also, can you believe we booked this four days ago? Crazy. In an effort to try and be more spontaneous, we did book this trip with four days notice. There was a gap before my partner started a new job, so we kind of thought, why not? We did this thing a few years back where I went online and sorted holidays from the lowest price to anywhere in the world and picked one of the cheapest ones. And it's kind of worked out every single time. As long as you're not fussy, it really works. This location has a really cool island and beach, which we saw a little bit earlier, but we'll be heading back there. But other than that, the beaches are very small, like this one. So it was difficult to get a good sketch down since there was quite a lot of clutter, a lot of sunbeds and parasols. Still, it's a decent start and we get up to a lot so I can't wait to show you. I really do love these markers, I think they're fantastic for the price, but when it comes to sketching a real life place, the markers are so bright and bold, they're not neutral in the slightest and it's really hard to try and make them neutral. So we're gonna make a lot of very bright sketches as you can see. Those lovely muted holes by in tones or the Karen Dash unique shades. We don't have any of these in this set. You know what I mean though, when you go to the art store and they have all the single pencils and pastels and you can see the entire range and there are some fantastic shades but those are the shades you never get when you buy a set or a tin. That's what I mean. These markers are only from Timu though. I got the smaller set because let's be real, none of us were expecting these to be good but but they are. I might look into getting a larger set because that might be the place to find all those unique and neutral tones I'm after. The second day is a pool day. Whenever I'm in need of a summer holiday, the first and second days are always super chill. It's the best way to get a reboot so you can explore the rest of the trip. I mean, that's what I found, but I don't know, what do you tend to do on your first day? I'm using the water-based markers again, but this time adding some colour pencils on top. Trying to make it a little bit more abstract. This is really what I've been enjoying lately. Making pieces a bit more abstract and surreal rather than realistic. Well, I mean, I never created realistic pieces anyway, let's be honest. But with the patterns and markings, it definitely doesn't look realistic. This is something that I would like to try a little bit more when it comes to plein air painting. And I think this is something that I've picked up from Katie Moody. I love the way she uses mixed media in her pieces. I think it really brings a landscape to life and adds a lot of personality. And ever since trying it, I've kind of fallen in love with this technique. So now I think I am a little bit of a mixed media person. I mean, that was my art goal, like what, two years ago? So I guess I finally got there. When it comes to art goals, you may have noticed that I haven't done a half year catch up like I did last year. To be completely honest, that's because I haven't looked at them since the start of the year. We moved house and I haven't looked at them. I remember one of them is to practice anatomy every week, which I haven't really been able to get back into. I think it's mostly because I'd want to do it in the Daily Doodle Diary, but there's a few restrictions there. If it's a weekend, they're half pages. If there's any marker bleed through, you won't be able to see the sketch. It hasn't been as easy as I would have liked. I'd like to get back into them, but I'm not gonna be too hard on myself to get back into them all. I'm back, we went on a boat trip today. We went snorkeling three times, so ignore my hair. I don't know how we're gonna denot this, but you can see the pink has already gone, pretty much. And I got some really cool photos, so I'm thinking for today's Daily Doodle, it's a little bit close. I'm thinking for today's Daily Doodle, we're gonna draw one of the photos. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to bring my camera, but there's so many good ones to choose from. There's also this really cool shipwreck, but I'm not sure that I would be able to do this with markers. Colour pencils would probably be optimal, but I've only got red, blue, and yellow. Not really 
the right colors. I feel like we're gonna have to do the shipwreck. Let's give this a go. I actually did something kind of silly. I popped a page from my messy sketchbook in here with some body tape, just so that it doesn't go through. This boat trip was another spontaneous decision. We weren't able to actually go on the beach because it's now been closed off to the public for conservation purposes. But okay, here's what happened. We've been on this boat a couple of hours and heard the same cover songs over and over. Old and new songs, they were ruining them all. And then we slowly approached this shipwreck. And they started playing the official Titanic song, My Heart Will Go On. As the boat slowly turned in a circle for the entire duration of the song. So we were just slowly circling for three minutes as the song was playing and it was just kind of hilarious. It wasn't even a civilian boat, it was a smuggler ship that was escaping the navy and then when it landed it got looted by all the locals. Honestly it was just a bizarre situation and me and my partner couldn't stop laughing the entire time. So it's one of the core memories from this trip. The reason I unfortunately had to rip out a page from the messy sketchbook and stick it into this doodle diary is because the water-based markers do go through this lined paper. They're fine in a sketchbook, but they go through the diary paper. I am looking at doing this challenge again next year and I've already started looking into trying to find an actual good diary for next year, but everything that I can see uses really thin paper, like even the Hobonichis use really thin paper. The Hobonichi are about 50 GSM, I think and we'd be looking at like 90 ideally. So if you know of any daily diaries that actually use good paper, please let me know because I'm in need of that. We're in a little farm and it's literally adorable. I need to show you. Andy. desk is so cute. This is the perfect location oh, to do the daily doodle diary today. There goes the lettuce. We've got paint brushes and we've got these. Should we give these a try? Oh no, these are all destroyed. Obviously, we're painting this absolutely adorable little deer. When I tell you I haven't used cheap chalky watercolors since like, I don't know, maybe I was like five? I honestly don't remember, that's how long ago it was. Unsurprisingly, they are difficult to use. Honestly, I'm impressed with the end result, I don't know how we got there. The process? It wasn't enjoyable. The reason to buy more expensive art supplies is because it makes the process easier. Layering with these paints was pretty much impossible. So in a way, I guess the chalkiness of these paints made them work more like gouache. And I learned that about halfway through, so I did change some of my techniques and treat it a bit like gouache instead, and that made it a lot easier. They're definitely not like watercolour at all though. They're not transparent, they don't layer, and they're so chalky that they do look like gouache. Once I adapted a little bit though, it was actually quite enjoyable. All the best notebooks I've seen aren't actually dated, but that's a big part of this challenge. I'd be looking for one with daily pages that's dated and has good quality paper. That's it, but it seems quite hard to find. I will say though, having not planned to use watercolour this trip, it was the best surprise seeing them on that table. Watercolour is my comfort medium and it made me really happy to find them and actually be able to paint on holiday because I've not done that before. It was a lovely little spot in the forest with all of these animals around and it was a really cool little trip. The farm was so cute. I think I managed to get some of the likeness there for the cute little deer and I don't know how we managed it but I'm honestly kind of proud. It looks like a deer, the colours aren't completely off and I did it on lined paper. I don't know how we did it. Using only this paintbrush, which was the best of the lot, and these chalky watercolour paints. We painted this. I think that's pretty cute. What do you think? And honestly, I've missed using watercolours. 
Should we go see if the deer likes it? Bambi, what do you think of the painting? Doesn't care. Okay, it's you. We're heading over to the island that you saw on the first day and honestly it looks amazing. I can't wait to do a drawing there. It's gonna have to be a drawing because we did paint last time. So the pages are a little bit wobbly and the water markers would go through, but this is the view. Look at this for a location. This is all that we've got. Just a super quick 15 minute sketch. What do you think? I think that's quite cute. We're starting the day with breakfast and a quick doodle. This is something I like to do at home as well. When I'm busy, a lot of doodles end up being super quick in bed. Like if the doodle diary ends up upstairs, every single day will be two minutes before bed with whatever I have to hand. And that's not really how I would like to use this doodle diary. But especially whilst we were moving house, that was the case. For about a month or two straight, give or take a couple of pieces that we filmed together. Every single piece was just a quick two minute sketch before bed. And I guess the biggest part with this challenge is being accountable and showing up for yourself, so we still did it. But it wasn't the fun, enjoyable experience that I was looking for. And keeping the Doodle Diary downstairs in the studio now, it means I can grab an actual art supply with an idea and try and create something that I like, even if it is super quick. But waking up and doing a quick sketch might just be my favourite thing. We're chilling on the balcony and I thought I'd attempt to draw my partner using the watermarkers again. The thing is, I can draw people looking up, posed, but I really struggle to sketch people relaxed, just existing. Perspective is hard and you would have seen that in all of my 100 hedge challenges. I always struggle if people have their eyes shut, if they're looking down, if they're looking up. Those are the hardest poses for me. And if you don't add shading, the faces can look really weird at different angles. I felt a bit bad, it didn't really do him justice. It was still a fun breakfast though with us both drawing. We did a little bit of shopping yesterday and I got a painting. This is what I got. Does anyone know what the material might be? It was only five euros and it kind of looks like acrylic, but it kind of came back to life in the heat. So does anyone know what that might be?
I brought my camera with me on this trip and some art supplies, but I didn't actually know what we were going to film. I thought it might just be one or two drawings here and there, or maybe a how much art can I make in a day video, which I do have a lot of future ideas for that I would love to film. I do still have a couple that I need to edit, but after the first day I had this idea of filming a week in my daily doodle diary, which seemed like a really good idea. I mean, I love watching the a week in my sketchbook video, but pretty much every art medium goes through this paper and I didn't plan on that. I really should have stuck paper down on the left sides of each page and that's definitely something I would do again if we do this in future. Unfortunately I didn't though so we're going in with colour pencils on super warped paper and making a pretty unappetising giros. But it's one of the biggest memories about going to Greece. I couldn't go the entire week without doodling a giros. If you don't know what it is it's basically a pitta with like chips and almost like doner kebab meat inside with salad and sauce. It's like an entire meal in a pitta. They're really good. We're now coming to the end and this has been a really fun daily doodle diary episode, though it's quite different to my usual content. I'd love to know down below if you've enjoyed this one and if you'd like to see more art challenge vlog kind of videos like this one because I would love to make more like this. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you again on Sunday. Bye bye!